On the Mark 68 with you once again. Last time around, we broke down the Hall of Fame career of the recently retired Tom Glavin. Much different careers, Glavin as a Met versus Glavin as a Brave. Now, what about Tommy G, the postseason pitcher? Now, of course, out of the Braves trifecta, John Smoltz is the guy that really stands out as a great clutch postseason pitcher right up there all time with Whitey Ford and Bob Gibson and Kurt Schilling. Now, for Glavin and Greg Maddox, great regular season pitchers, but their reputations in the postseason, ah, they pitch decently, but not up to the regular season standard, not up to the billing or the hype. But let's check it out start by start. Glavin had 32 postseason starts with the Braves. That's a full season. Had three with the Mets, 35 overall. 14 and 16, 330 ERA, very solid ERA, but very impressive if you go start by start. We're not going to go through all of them. Let's hit some of the highlights. In 91, Glavin helped lead the Braves from worst to first, took on the Twins in the World Series, and went to a Game 7. Glavin was spectacular in two games, eight innings pitched in each game game of the playoffs, one run against the Pirates and Twins. In 92, he was spectacular in the World Series as the Braves eventually lost to the Jays, but don't blame Glavin. He pitched two complete games and only gave up one run in each game. In 95, of course, this was the zenith for Glavin. He finished off the Indians in Game 6, eight innings, shut out baseball, only one hit against that powerful Indians lineup, but he also had a gem against the Reds in the championship series. Seven innings there, and just a run given up to the Cincinnati Reds. In 96, Glavin closed out the Cardinals in Game 7 to get the Braves to the World Series, a 15-0 shellacking and shutout for Glavin in seven innings. In 99 against the Mets, he helped get the Braves to the World Series. Pitched very well against the Mets, seven innings and no runs. And then once he got to the World Series, of course, the Braves got swept by the Yankees, but Glavin showed up well, seven innings, one run, and a tough luck loser in that start. And then in 01, Glavin really had a solid 2001 playoffs, although the Diamondbacks beat the Braves in the championship series. Glavin had three starts in the postseason, 20 innings, just two earned runs. But then it was the next season that was his undoing. He had a very fine regular season, 18 and 11, 296 ERA, but he got to the postseason and the Giants lit him up in two starts. 13 runs, 17 hits, in just seven and two-thirds innings. Of course, at that point, Glavin was going to be 37 the next year. The Braves looked at that postseason start against Bonds and the Giants, and they thought, this is time to say goodbye. He went off to New York, and the rest is history. That's Glavin's postseason career as a Brave. You take out three horrible starts, admittedly, but in those other 29 starts, he posted a 258 ERA. Baseball junkies, historians, tell me what you think. I'm on the mark, 68.